Traditionally, it's held in the evening, but despite the time change to the morning, many were the people who gathered at Kesmet today. The occasion? A big one, the King's Birthday Parade. It's an annual tradition, but this year it was extra special. It was the first King's Birthday Parade for the new monarch, King Charles III. The day commemorates the monarch's birthday, but it's not his actual birthday at all. A long-standing tradition going back to 1788. The monarch's birthday is celebrated in June, with the idea being that the better weather will play more in favour of the pageantry and ceremony associated with the event. The king's actual birthday is in November. The Gibraltar parade is obviously much, much smaller than the one held in London, but it still requires a lot of planning. The commander of British forces Gibraltar, Commodore Tom Guy, is responsible for the armed forces here. He's a key figure in the organisation of today's event. The planning will have started a year ago, hot on the heels of the previous parade. Lots of details to get in place. It starts, starts off relatively slowly, naturally, but we've got to make sure that we get the date in the diary so we can all deconflict. And then as we get closer to the event, obviously things start to pick up. Lots of reservists on parade, so people with day jobs, and of course the regulars have all got other operational commitments. So it's a question of fitting in the practice and of course the personal preparation uh, wherever we can. At the parade, dignitaries include members of parliament, those representing the different faiths, and people representing entities and a cross-section of the community. But the key figure at the King's Birthday Parade is of course His Excellency the Governor. The, the sovereign's representative on the dais, only he was taking the salute. At one point he stepped off the dais and that's to represent the uh, notional actual royal presence and we all salute. So there's little sort of subtleties to it and it's important that we maintain those traditions. Commodore Tom Guy also highlights the importance of the ceremony for Gibraltar. I mean, it's no secret that we are busy operationally, at, rightly as we should be. But so for a number of reasons. First of all, you know, we are all armed forces, servants of the Crown, and, and, and it's our opportunity to pay our respects and to celebrate. For Gibraltar, there, there can be no greater visible demonstration of British sovereignty than British forces Gibraltar being out here you know, amongst the people of Gibraltar and showing that respect with them and celebrating uh, with them. And of course Gibraltar is a wonderfully, wonderfully patriotic place. So to be able to perpetuate this locally is really important. So the event in London will be spectacular. The event here today was spectacular for the people of Gibraltar. Celebrations on the occasion of the King's birthday continue on Saturday when the big official parade known as the Trooping of the Colour takes place at Buckingham Palace. <laughs>